I'm releasing. This truck on the move is about to have one heck of a collision. And it was no accident. Caltrans wanted to crash the truck into a bridge rail. The bang-up job, part of a new idea to beef up bridges in our state. Tony Lopez is live along I-80 with a story you'll see only on CBS 13. Well, chances are it's the last thing on the minds of drivers here along I-80. What might happen if I crash my vehicle into the side of a bridge rail? Would I survive? Well, it's been something that Caltrans has been wondering. They wanted a picture-perfect crash test, but did they get it? You'll see the full-on impact in motion in a minute. First, let's talk about why Caltrans decided to ram this perfectly good Dodge Ram into this brand new bridge rail. This new bridge rail, it's uh, beefier. Beefier, stronger, thicker, with a wide pedestrian walkway. If the truck at the other end of this track reacts to the crash the way Caltrans wants... This is the bridge rail you will see out in the California system. If the test fails... If this doesn't pass, then we'll go back and probably have to redesign and continue working on the same project. At a cost of a quarter million dollars, that would be one expensive ride in a journey that really begins far from this West Sacramento test track. Out here, where it matters, where you and I hit the road every day. This is where Caltrans engineers have been taking a good hard look at existing bridge rails, realizing they need to upgrade to save lives and protect their work crews. They found that out the hard way when an out-of-control driver slammed into a Caltrans worker named Mark Balsey. When an impaired driver bounced off of the median rail, came across three lanes of traffic into their closure, Mark lost a leg, but he helped Caltrans gain new footing with a new innovation, the Ballsy Beam. This really affords itself a protective pocket for the crew. A crew that now works behind a beam that serves as a guardrail attached to a truck. Like the bridge rail idea, before the Ballsy Beam hit the road, it had to face the crash test course. There are now five Ballsy Beams in use throughout the state. But will this new bridge rail join them? Check on 22. It's close to the moment of truth. After months of work behind the scenes, from research on the road to simulations on the computer. This shows us what the interaction is, what it's like. Thousands of hours of manpower boil down to one blink of the eye moment. We go out there and you do a nice five second crash to determine if it's safe for the traveling public. These rating designs was found to be the most efficient. They've been doing it since the 1950s. This video shows one of the first. This is a, kind of a cool part of your job, isn't it? I mean, to come out here and actually test something. This is an excellent part of my job. And this excellent adventure okay. is about to begin. Okay, I'm releasing. From our camera inside the truck, you can see this crash test is on. As it reaches the target max speed of 62 miles an hour, more than a few wonder, will it be right on target? Combined with our equipment, there are more than a half dozen cameras capturing every angle. The driverless truck is thrown off track into the bridge rail. They also did not want the vehicle to roll. It didn't. Colored tires were uh, the right-hand side tires hit. From here, every color, every curve, every dent on the test vehicle will be analyzed. But it looks pretty good. A good result to a grueling process that began with a theory and ended with a bang. It was quite the impact being there. Even though it looks to be a success, Caltrans says they'll have to look at all the data before they determine that it is a go. And if it is a go, Sam and Shannon, we should be seeing these new beefier rail bridges in about two years on California's highways and roads. Interesting to see the engineering and science and then the, just the flat out crash test all collide together, Tony. Really fascinating. Oh, it's been months in the making. So yeah, it all boiled down to that. Thanks okay. for all that insight. Thanks. David.